Hi, welcome to OpsMX Spinnaker Training Series. In this series, we're going to see how to deploy a Kubernetes a cluster using Vagrant. And uh, the reason why I'm including this on the tutorial series is on the upcoming uh, videos, we're going to install Spinnaker inside our Kubernetes cluster and use that as an uh, infrastructure layer to build some pods or containers towards it. So uh, let's, let's get started how to deploy Kubernetes cluster using a Vagrant method. So step one, uh, you have to clone the uh, OpsMX, OpsMX Spinnaker Refn tutorial kit. So simply copy this, um, uh, clone this URL and uh, run the command call uh, git clone and the uh, URL which you copied. Uh, I will add this all details in the YouTube uh, description so that you can make use of it. Once it is cloned, I've already cloned here, navigate to the folder call. Um, vagrant iPhone Kubernetes. So you have to uh, go inside the vagrant iPhone Kubernetes, and if you give ls command, you will find some files. Files like vagrant uh, file, uh, Bootstrap, and uh, Caligo. So in this example, I'm going to use Caligo as a network. I'm not using Fanel. Um, so you can uh, find the difference between Caligo and uh, Fanel uh, differences uh, in other uh, um, channels or other uh, blogs. But uh, in this video, I'm going to use Caligo as a network uh, so that it's easy for me to have a, a v like VX VLAN integration and all that, that stuff. It is a bit advanced than the final one, as per my understanding. So um, second step, after cloning your uh, Git URL, you have to run a command called um, vagrant up. So what it's going to do is, it's gonna, uh, the vagrant command, vagrant up command, will read your configuration files from the file called vagrant file. I'm going to open that file. So this is the file. So uh, this file will uh, will not run uh, two uh, virtual machines or Oracle virtual box parallel. That is the reason vagrant no parallel equal to yes. So it will do one virtual machine at a time. And to operate uh, vagrant uh, properly, you should definitely install uh, Oracle virtual box or uh, libvirt. So um, please try to uh, search in Google about how to install vagrant. And then, uh, and it does support multiple uh, hypervisors. So accordingly, as per your requirement, you can install your hypervisors as well. But since it's a demo, and in my uh, local laptop, I have installed uh, Oracle and uh, Oracle Virtual Machine, and then uh, Vagrant installed. So, th and now coming back to the uh, Vagrant file. So here I mentioned about uh, config VM shell using bootstrap.sh. So I have some scripts created already, which is like a bootstrap uh, sh file. So it will create a new machine and it name as uh, kmaster, which is your Kubernetes master. And I'm going to use CentOS as a base image and I'm going to set the uh, OS name as kmaster.example.com. And I'm going to assign a private IP of 172 series, which is like uh, uh, IP, which is internal communication. And I'm going to assign uh, two GP memory and two CPU and the name will be kmaster. Once it is done, it will build two machines, another two machines, which is um, K worker one, K worker two. Here I had mentioned one node count each, which is we're going to have two worker nodes in Kubernetes uh, and their names are K worker one and K worker two. And the host name will be K worker one dot example dot com and K worker two dot example dot com. And the IPs will also be assigned as per the requirement. And it will also uh, call the script called uh, bootstrap underscore kworker.sh. So what happened to um, bootstrap SH? Let me open that bootstrap SH file. So this file will install Kubernetes. So on the uh, CentOS 7 machine. So it uses, um, first it will assign uh, the IP addresses and the hostess uh, file so that it's easy for uh, the Kubernetes server to reach. And it will install Docker and it will enable the Docker service and it will disable the SLNX in the CentOS machine and disable the firewall and add some system CTL uh, settings in the kernel. And once it is done, it will disable swap because it is a requirement to have um, uh, Kubernetes to disable the swap. And it will add some uh, repositories under CentOS 7 under etcm.repos.d in the name of kubernetes.repo file. And then it will install Kubernetes, enable the Kubernetes service after the installation and enable uh, passwordless authentication. So uh, we're going to use as a root and uh, we'll set a root password also for that. And you can see the root password I mentioned is kubeadmin. And then we export uh, the xterm to bash rc. And the other file is uh, bootstrap worker.sh. So if you run this command, so this file, uh, it, uh, it will join uh, the master to the client. So it uses um, 
sh pass and it will create a file called joint cluster.sh. So if you see the joint cluster.sh file, uh, it uh, in the in the machine after you uh, built on the master machine, so it will try to uh, add your uh, worker nodes into the master. So this is how uh, I've created the script. So uh, to uh, to enable or to install Kubernetes uh, on your uh, Vagrant and Oracle VirtualBox, run the command called Vagrant up. So this will install uh, a Kubernetes machine on your uh, local laptop, and depend upon your speed of your internet, it may vary or it may take time. So um, once it is done, I will resume it. Uh, I'm going to pass the video right now because it's going to take a while. Once it is installation is successful, I will resume and continue the video. All right, uh, the vagrant up command uh, done successfully. It is now um, it has now created some uh, virtual machines, and they are uh, K Master Worker Node One and Worker Node Two. These are running right now. So uh, it is similar to uh, Oracle VirtualBox, how you will install uh, from your ISO and uh, OES, and then after the installing OES, you install scripts. B but this is somewhere in automated in a processed way. That's why I, I always prefer Vagrant. So uh, what I will do is personally, whenever I've done any uh, Vagrant installation, I take a snapshot of a golden image. So you can uh, take a snapshot of Vagrant, snapshot, uh, save, and the uh, machine name, uh, let's say machine name and uh, the snapshot name. So this is the syntax for uh, taking a snapshot of a uh, working uh, instance in Oracle, which I've already done. So to list all the snapshot, vagrant snapshot list. This will uh, list all the snapshot, whichever uh, you can take in. Snapshot is nothing but you will take a uh, copy of a machine or take the running state of a machine and save it. So in future, you can restore the snapshot. So this is how I take a snapshot of already a uh, working machine. So now, to if you if you give ls-la on the same directory, you can find a folder called vagrant. This is where all your uh, private keys and all the uh, um, configuration of your uh, vagrant for the specific project is located. So if you delete this file, and then uh, when you run vagrant up or vagrant ssh it will not let you in because this is where all your private keys and your certificates will be there so now to access any of this machine like let's say you want to access your k master you have to run a command called vagrant ssh and the server name so k master will let you log in uh, to that specific machine so to verify whether kubernetes is uh, installed or not so uh, we use a uh, kubectl or uh, kubectl command to uh, manage uh, or to access the Kubernetes cluster. So I'm going to run a command called kubectl get nodes. So this will tell me what are the nodes available and whether the cluster is active or not. So if you see here, uh, there are like three servers. One is master and two of them are nodes. And you can see the role is also assigned for the master and there are two more servers and they are in ready state. And to list all the Kubernetes parts, so you have a command called kubectl get po. Uh, by default, we didn't set any namespace, so I'm going to give all namespace, iPhone, if and all, iPhone namespace. So this will tell you namespaces. This will list you all uh, parts. So if you see here, I'm using uh, Calico as, your, as my network. I'm not using Fanel. And uh, all the services of uh, kube control, uh, Kube API, controller, proxy, scheduler, core DNS are running, and all the pods are in up and running state. So this is how uh, you will get uh, installed uh, Kubernetes on your local Oracle VirtualBox using Vagrant. And the script is already provided in our uh, default Git Opsimex URL. You can clone that URL and run this command. And so we will, on the next video, we will see how to deploy Spinnaker on this specific uh, kub uh, Kubernetes. With this, I'm going to end this video. Um, see you in the next video. Thank you.